Okay there. Hi. I wanted to just do a quick book review on The Book of Virtues by William J. Bennett. Um, I guess one of my kids wrote on this. Obviously, it's a treasure of great moral stories. I love this book. Um, we have, honestly, we probably have about five of these. Some of them are in our storage unit. Um, but whenever I see one, I collect it because I figure I could pass it down to one of my six kids or all of my six kids and they can use them with their grandkids. Uh, I don't know what is all over this, but um, I just wanted to point out this. If you want to look down and look up the ISBN number on whatever search engine, um, it obviously has some Rush Limbaugh, Cal Thomas, Margaret Thatcher have said that this was a good book but obviously this is this is actually one of those books that a lot of homeschoolers have and there's a lot of reasons for it um you can see this book i got um hold on these are some other books that he has and i have several of his books but not out of out of that group okay so here we go we're gonna start and um I just want to point out, it says the contents, and one of the things I really love about this is it's going over character training. You're teaching your children all these different uh, character traits that you want them to be capable of. And, and I started reading this book to my kids when they were really young, like, you know, four and five. Um, and then our older kids would sit and listen, too, because we have a 12-year span. Um, so anyways, it breaks off where each chapter and this is a huge book too i should just point out this is a really big book so you really i think i got this for five six bucks or something at a resale store um so anyways what i like about it is whether they're younger children or older children you can read this book and um you could do it where you're just reading it out loud or even to the point where you're having them memorize these when it comes to the poetry um just lots of poetry and the poetry is taken from all kinds of places. I mean, it's it's from authors, it's from um, hymns, it's from songs, um, and, and there's everything from rules and stories. Um, we're still in this part, and it's gonna do some of Aesop's fables, The Fox and the Crow. Um, this is adapted from James Baldwin. Um, this is a story. There's a lot of, um, this is Plato. <laughs> Um, there is just a lot. So whether we're talking, uh, this is the angel on the battleground. Then it gets into responsibility. And uh, you could see some more poems, some more stories. I can't tell you what I like the best out of this book. Um, etiquette in a nutshell, under responsibility. But we have used this so much. And it, like this is Thomas Jefferson. Um, there are so many things in here and everything. You're learning so many things when you're in literature. You're learning history and you're learning science and um, character training and you're learning about different um, role models and mentors. You're learning about different writers. You're learning about poetry. I mean, this is Kipling. I mean, it's just, some of this is just so amazing. And to have this all in one book that you can get fairly easy at like a resale store or something, it's great and um i wasn't planning on, on reading anything but um you can definitely pick this book up and uh, check it out look at this the boy who never told a lie um and it's just a cute little poem and the kids liked it a lot i mean i have i'm not reading it right now um but here's hans christian anderson but i don't know how many times i have read this book and like i said this is probably one of five that we have um so let me see, Oscar Wilde, The Devoted Friend. I'm sure The Selfish Giant is probably in here too, and else that's one of his other books. And um, so anyways, this one, Longfellow. So just a great book, lots of stories, A Thousand Man. Um, this is about faith and hope and love. There's sweet things like this in here. Um, you know, poems and sweet prayers, um, stories from the Bible, Noah's Ark, all things beautiful. Okay, so anyways, you get the idea, Daniel and the Lion's Den, just a lot of really, this is under the faith section, but I think there's some throughout it. Um, and you get the idea, good book. It's got a picture of him and his kids back way, way back when, when this book was written, which gosh, what year was this when this was written? It's old. I know because my oldest child is 24 now. 
1993. So, um, great book. Highly suggest you pick it up. And I guess that's about it.